This isn't just a classroom, because it's much more than papers, pens, desks and diagrams. This classroom is really in a classroom. This is science shared. The best teaching the brightest. Using brilliant machines to empower local industry to compete on a global scale. Because our most valued resource isn't our technology or even the resource itself. It's our people. Welcome to today's edition of Meet the Boss. My name is Emmanuel Quist. Today we have a great innovation story for you. Our next guest was mentioned in the top five females changing the IT landscape in Africa by Mail and Garden Africa. That is a great thing as far as we are concerned. And so we are in her office today to talk to her. How did she do it? How is she representing women in tech in Ghana? She has a great story to tell. Ethel. Hello. Hello. Nice, nice of you to come visit me. It's great. <laughs> it's great to have us in your office. Thank you so much for agreeing to be on Meet the Boss. Tell us how uh, your journey into entrepreneurship started. It's, it's not a very complicated story. So I um, went to school. I, I did my master's in the UK um, and decided to come back to Ghana and start a business. So I shipped my things, uh, took my savings and came home to start a business. And um, unfortunately, uh, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Wow. I, I, I ran through my savings and uh, I was a, essentially a field entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I went and I got jobs. So I, 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 I did a lot of interesting things in between where I, you know, I worked for um, the, the Gates, uh, on the Gates, um, Bill and Melinda Gates funded, proje uh, funded project in Northern, Northern Ghana. I was uh, head of commercial solutions for Vodafone Ghana. Uh, I was, I worked in Nigeria with the Ford Foundation. I was in Sierra Leone uh, working with uh, non-profits there. So it's, it's an interesting span in between. And then after a number of years, I decided that I would try again. Okay. Uh, but this time I, while I had a job, I started looking for clients and started working on weekends and um, working at night. So by the time I decided to start Adele Technology Consulting version 2, um, I had a number of clients and it was a more comfortable um, move. So that, that's my story. I see. I think there's a lot to be learned in the first attempt. Why would you say you failed? What went wrong? Um, so I think in the first attempt I really didn't think as a business person I really thought as an engineer because up until that point I had done a lot of I, I was a developer essentially yeah. um, so understanding you know how to pitch to clients how to get business how to to, to work within the politics of a corporate environment to be able to get projects. Those are things that I didn't know how to do. Um, even, you know, how to how to leverage and then listen to your customer. Those are things I didn't know how to do at the time. I thought because I was a developer, I could develop. That's all I really needed to start a business. And uh, as, as posterity will have it, that wasn't true. So th those are the things that I didn't have. And in the jobs that I had afterwards, I learned those things. I learned how to sell, how to pitch ideas working at Vodafone Ghana. Um, I learned when I went to Sierra Leone, I learned how to work with diverse people with diverse backgrounds, how to, you know, how to get people to do things even though culturally they might be different. All those things are lessons that now come into adult technology version two uh, that make us a better business. I see. So, so that's great. So um, people would wonder what exactly you do. I'm sure you've talked about development you talk about apps but what is it what value do you render for 
clients really so adult technology consulting is really a company that brings technology and strategy together to help to work with businesses and for us it's important that we build technology that helps increase revenue or helps decrease operational cost we want to build technology that impacts the business rather than technology for technology's sake um, so we call ourselves uh, sort of a digital project product company uh, and we work with companies across different industries to bring to bear uh, different technologies. So we'll do IT consultancy, understand your business. What we'll usually do is we'll have somebody sit within your business and understand how your business works yeah. and understand your strategy and where you want to go as a business. And we'll begin to build you technology that will add maybe a new revenue stream or we'll look at your operational uh, how you how you do things now and where we can bring efficiency and lower cost at the end of the day We want businesses to grow yeah. right we want businesses to go to the next level and We want to use technology and strategy to get you there. So whilst we sing the Or we sing the songs of Accomplishments and things like that people have personally asked us to ask you uh, your rock button moments Stuff, <laughs> Times where things were not going so well so you were so distraught and stuff like failures essentially do you have any i mean you've heard my story right so i've i've, I've okay, built so one the there's a big the, <laughs> the big failure but there you know there I mean, now I'm distraught because I'm looking to find, to build a team and that's the, one of the hardest things to do in our environment is to actually find the attitudes to build a team. So that's, that's making me a bit sad at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there, there are a lot of rock bottom moments, yeah. uh, but I think you have my major one, right? Yeah. The, the worst of the worst is yeah. that... It's when you packed bag and baggage came to Ghana and things in you. Yeah, I mean, it's always interesting to look in your account and see zero. It's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> so it's a very interesting feeling. And, yeah? you, and you realize that you're so skilled <laughs> and you're like, it was like you know you have an M and you know I have an MSc in distributor yeah. systems. I had a great job in the UK and then yeah. I decided to come down and you know people will say to you I mean come on why did why did you come down you know don't come home I mean there's nothing here in Ghana and and you 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 fall flat in your face and you know it's it's it almost buttresses what everybody has said. It, it, it reinforces what people have said. Yeah. Don't come home, you know, stay in the UK. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And the other point about you building a team, currently the conversation is about how really there are no jobs for young people. But here you are trying to I offer don't. jobs to people. So what's people. the problem? What's the problem? I think there's, I've done a lot of interviews. There. I don't think there's, there's lack of quantity. There's okay. lack of quality. Okay. Um, I think part of it is people that that so inaction is, is is something that we gravitate towards as a people um so i don't know what to do so i'm not going to do anything i see that brings me to my next point women in tech that wine and that killer really that you <laughs> you invite women to what's up what's it what was it well, all about to be honest the one so we have um the wine and killer party. parties mm -hmm. actually is they are, they are my personal parties that are so it's when people get the invitation it's ethel invites you to wine and kill mm. um the idea really is to bring together women that are on a high trajectory women that are achieving in their differences c level women ceos mm. and the idea is to support and help each other so it's an informal meeting yeah. we chat with a little bit men, drink men a little men <laughs> no the, so this for this <laughs> one it's um it's women only and there are conversations that mm. we need to because there's, there's a lot of things where you know you hear women don't work well together yeah. women don't support each other mm -hmm. and we're dispelling a myth okay. right we're dispelling it with all these high-ranking women in one room and we are supporting helping strengthening each other passing each other business networking so melon garden uh, named you in the top five women changing the IT landscape in Africa. We were proud. Uh, Paul's TV, we were very proud. We, uh, we splashed your face on, on Pulse.com.ga saying, yeah, you have a Ghana rep there. How do, do, do such things make you feel? I think, I think it's, it's inspiring to have gone through what I've gone through and to be at this point mm. and to be uh, celebrated for what I do. I, 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 I am amazed that I am 
in the same conversation with women like uh, Funke and, and all these amazing women. I'm amazed that I mentioned in the, in the same conversation. That's very exciting. And then, you know, I say, that's great. And I go back to work. <laughs> I go back to work. Yes, because, you know, it's great to have the accolades, but you've got to, you've got to go back to work. Finally, adult technologies um, and then women in tech. What's the future? Are we, will that list become top two and then first? <laughs> I think um, for us, we, we want to be at the very top of the, our game and very best of our game. And we, just like now, we, Adult Technology Consulting provides customers with the very, very best. We will continue to do that. We'll do that. Uh, not only in Ghana, we've got a couple of clients in the UK. We want to do that across Africa. Um, when in women in tech, like I said, by the end of the year, we want to be in 12 African nations. We want to be the definitive women in tech group on the continent. And I think that, uh, and I think that with that, we'll be able to impact and effect. So women in tech beyond the bringing network the networking and people together it's been how do we affect africa how do we affect our environment right so ladies and gentlemen you heard it all for yourself ethel coffee that's what she wants to do she wants to change the mindset of young girls so they have options uh, apart from the general arts and the arts courses they can just go and start building up so just like here uh it's been a great session of meet the boss ethel d coffee has been our guest thank you so much for watching